Okay, so if we look at this question carefully, it says we're measuring waves in a slinky. So we're going to draw our wave as shown below. And the student who's doing the measurements determines the distance between a crest and a trough is 75 centimeters. Let's label that now. Now this distance actually only represents half a wave. We're going from crest to trough, and we know that the definition of one full wave would be when the wave repeats itself. So we'd have to go from crest all the way around, and you can imagine the wave continuing on to the next crest. So 75 centimeters is only half a wave, so our full wavelength would be double that. So let's write down our given information below. So we'll start with our wavelength and our wavelength is 2 times 75 so it's a hundred and fifty centimeters now it also tells us that it takes 1.5 seconds for one full wave to pass that's the definition of the period of a wave so capital T, the period of the wave is 1.5 seconds. Now the question is asking something a little bit different. It says, how long will it take the wave to travel to the end of the slinky if it's stretched to, to the 5 meter mark? So just because the wavelength is 150 centimeters, that's not the full distance that the wave has to travel. The wave actually has to travel 5 meters. So we know from kinematics that if we want to figure out how long it takes to travel a distance, we need to know how fast the wave's going. So we have our universal wave equation as follows. The velocity of the wave is given by the frequency times the wavelength. Well, we have the wavelength. We'll probably end up converting it to meters so it matches the length or the units used in the length of the slinky, which is in five meters. So we have our wavelength as 1.5 meters. We might as well write that in. But we don't have the frequency of the wave. However, we do have the period. And we know our most basic equation is that frequency is 1 over period. So it's something we can quickly calculate. Let's do that now before we continue. So frequency is 1 over the period. 1 over 1.5 seconds is 0 0.667 hertz. So now we know the wavelength and the frequency. Let's calculate the velocity. So when we do that, we get our velocity is 0.667 hertz times 1.5 meters, which is 1.0 hertz times meters. And since 1 hertz is 1 over seconds, the equivalent units are 1 over seconds, we get our velocity is 1.0 meters per second. Now we can continue with the question. It wants to know how long it takes, so it wants to know a time. So we know the slinky is 5 meters long. Let's calculate how the time it takes to travel that distance. Well, that's a generic distance, that 5 meters. It's not a wavelength, so we've got to go back and use our most general equation for velocity. And our most general equation for velocity comes back to kinematics, where velocity is just distance over time. Or if I isolate for t, time is distance divided by velocity. And our distance is 5 meters. Our velocity is 1 meter per second. So it stands to reason that this will take 5 seconds for this wave to traverse 5 meters across.